Hello, I'm Dare Tebbers, and this is your simulator game review of Car Mechanic Simulator from Playway. Working on cars used to be a job done in the front driveway on a weekend, usually by some men or some boys, but today, fewer and fewer people choose to work on their own cars. So what does it feel like to be a mechanic in this day of computer-controlled cars? Is Car Mechanic Simulator a game that teaches you how to fix cars, or a game that teaches you how to think you can fix your car, only to cause yourself a higher repair bill. Graphics on this game are fantastic, from the menu to the specks of dust on your safety glasses. The game looks as high quality as many of the games with a much higher budget. It isn't all perfection, but when compared to many of the other simulator games out there, this is fantastic when it comes to graphics. Additionally, the modeling of the cars is very nice. Despite Playway hiding behind fake names, the cars look just familiar enough that you can pick out what kind of car you're working on based on real life cars. The parts for the cars are also well done. While I do have some quibbles with some parts, which we'll talk about later, none of these issues really have anything to do with graphics. Yes, the background is sort of static and not all that greatly rendered, but that doesn't matter. The focus isn't the sky outside your skylights or the world outside of the test track. The focus is on the cars. The game runs smooth and fast. The graphical engine seems well optimized and I got a constant 60 frames per second. However, there are some rather long load times between areas and at times it feels like the game has crashed as you stare at a black screen while it is loading the loading screen. These long load times break the flow of the game a bit and contribute to a slightly longer playtime without actually adding anything to your playtime. It took me about nine hours to make it through the main quest line, but of that, a good probably 30, 45 minutes was truly just loading from one area to another. How do you rate the gameplay of a car mechanic simulator? This was something I struggled with. I've worked on my own cars quite a bit. Everything from the simple oil changes and filter changes to changing the belts on cars and the water pump of a Ford E150 van. If you've never done that, that is a terrible task to do. And I've also helped install a blown 454 in an El Camino. So when I started playing the game, it felt a little bit forced and a little bit off. However, as I played it more, I really started to enjoy the game. Some of the jobs had me screaming at the screen. One customer paid, I believe, $300 for a simple air filter change because the car was losing power and they didn't think, I guess, to pop open the, the filter and check the filter. You do that at $35. I mean, it drove me crazy because it's the exact same thing that I've seen helping friends with their cars or talking to my uncle who is a mechanic. The kind of things that people pull into the shop and say my car's not working right and you go and change a filter and it's like well, just you guys go do it but i can understand why some people don't still that gave a sense of realism to the game now what issues did i have for one i was bothered by the transverse mounted v6 in the rear drive muscle car it's a ford mustang but we'll call it a muscle car that does, just doesn't happen here in the United States. You don't transverse mount a V6 on a rear drive muscle car. It's a straight drive shaft transmission arrangement. You don't do that kind of thing. Now, because every, all the prices were in US dollars, I can only assume the game takes place in the United States. So that to me felt like they were reusing the assets for a four cylinder transverse mounted front drive to make it easier on them. And it felt kind of forced. Additionally, to change the air filter on a car does not require removing a whole bunch of parts. Uh, you wouldn't even remove the tube connecting the, the air filter box to the engine. You just undo the box, lift it up, and pull the filter out. Uh, I don't know anybody, anybody, with a car, a modern car that, or especially a classic car, that does has to disassemble the entire air filter box. No, you just pop it in and out. And that kind of bothered me a bit. Additionally, the tasks start to get repetitive. Though to the developer's credit, they do try to throw in a few wrinkles. It just wasn't enough to keep the game interesting for the entire time. They are limited because what is in the game is your basic engine components. You have the base engine, of which the only things you can really change are the water pump, the alternator, the starter, which is connected to the transmission technically, and transmission clutch assemblies, uh, spark plugs, those kind of things. But there's no cam work. 
there's uh, oil changes are uh, atrocious to try to do an oil change. If you don't, until you know where the oil change plug is, it's almost impossible to do one quickly. And then suspension work is pretty much the limit of what you do in the game. So the re the repetitiveness becomes an issue. All this being said, though, there's already one free expansion pack for 4x4 work, and another one is on the way for turbo work. So I can see how this game can be loads of fun. Now, I'm not sure about the long-term replayability of it, even with the expansions, but the expansions are at least something. However, do know that when you start the expansion, you do start over with your skill set. You do build up skills through the game, and you start over when you start the 4x4 pack. And that is another quibble I have. Playway, can I please take my skills from one set to another so I don't have to rebuild them? It lets me continue my life as a mechanic. At first, I was not sure I liked Car Mechanic Simulator, but as I worked through the missions, I grew to like the game for what it was. Now, I wouldn't suggest you use Car Mechanic Simulator to train yourself to work on your own car, but... I think it's a unique game that's very well done and very stable, which is a wonderful thing in the world of simulators. If Playway continues to release expansion packs and develop the game and correct some minor issues here and there with, you know, porting your skills forward and things like that, I can see this become a very strong offering with, and could be a lot of fun as they might add, maybe in the future, tractor trailers or something like that. So I think Car Mechanic Simulator is actually worth you taking a look at and give it a shot. See if you can figure out everything that's wrong with the car. I've been Dear Teppers, and this was your simulator game review of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, if you'll excuse me, one of my customers just arrived after driving his SUV through a river. This will be expensive for him and fun for me.